Okay, so let's look into the role of human chorionic gonadotropin hormone, and that is HCG. So placenta, okay, you know the placenta, it produces human chorionic gonadotropin or the HCG hormone during pregnancy. And this level, uh, the level of this hormone increases at the early stages of pregnancy, and it will double every two to three days for the first four weeks of pregnancy and that's why when people uh, women they check whether they are pregnant or not they used to go to market or pharmacy to buy this type of strip um, and then they, they dip it into their urine so this is pregnancy test to detect hcg in the urine uh, so the main function of this uh, hormone hcg is to ensure that corpus luteum Remember the structure of corpus luteum? It continues to secrete estrogen and also progesterone in the early stages of pregnancy. Okay, before uh, this, the task of secreting estrogen and progesterone is being taken over by um, placenta, corpus luteum plays the role. And HCG is the one to ensure that corpus luteum um, is continuously in the secretion of these two hormones which are very essential and this hormone can be detected in the urine of the pregnant mothers so when pregnant mother test their urine they are actually testing these uh, hormones whether it is um, present or not so it's indicated by lines like this okay if there's two lines pregnant uh, indication is that the woman is pregnant and if the single line so that means hcg is not present in the urine uh, of the women and therefore indicating not pregnant but somehow they need to confirm um, but their state uh, whether they are pregnant or not by uh, visiting to the clinic to see the doctor for confirmation okay so let's look at the role of placenta and also umbilical cord in fetal development okay placenta it is formed in the mother's endometrial tissue and the embryonic tissue okay so these two tissue combine forming placenta which is connected to the fetus through the umbilical cord okay umbilical cord is like the connector which contains what's within the umbilical cord the blood vessels okay carrying substances in and also out of the fetus okay umbilical cord so let's let's appreciate this picture here this is the structure of placenta okay and uh, you get to see the umbilical cord this is it umbilical cord and that this is the maternal blood and also the fetal blood capillaries which is embedded or uh, sorry it's implanted in the endometrium uh, you get to see inside the umbilical cord consists of the umbilical vein and also arteries okay so umbilical veins function is to carry blood rich in oxygen and also nutrients it is from the placenta to the fetus Okay, from the placenta to the fetus. Okay, and then vice versa is that this artery function is to carry deoxygenated blood from the fetus to the placenta. Deoxygenated blood, that means those that are rich in carbon dioxide and also nitrogenous waste such as urea. So, I have to take note here because it is a little bit of difference because we used to say remember that vein used to carry the oxygenated blood and artery carrying oxygenated blood but not in this case you have to uh, make it vice versa okay let's look at the importance of placenta it is the exchange site tapak pertukaran of substances between the mother and also the fetus so let's look at the substances Okay, the essential ones, lah, the glucose, amino acids, these are the nutrients and also hormones, even antibodies, oxygens. They are absorbed from the mother's blood into the fetal blood capillaries. Whereas those that are unwanted, 
carbon dioxide and also nitrogenous waste. For example, urea, they are absorbed from the fetal blood capillaries uh, into the mother's blood circulation. And that, um, so placenta as an exchange site. Also, number two is that, okay, let's put this like this. Okay, and then number two is that this placenta also acts as an endocrine organ, which means that it, it is able to secrete hormones during pregnancy. Okay, the fourth month of pregnancy, fourth month, when the corpus luteum is no longer um, secreting estrogen and also progesterone because it, it will degenerate. Uh, so at this time, at this um, trimester, Placenta plays an important role to secrete these hormones. Okay, so replace corpus luteum in producing progesterone and also estrogen needed to maintain the endometrial thickness uh, because uh, that's uterus is the place to house the fetus for the fetus to develop. Okay, so let's look into the system of the fetal and also maternal blood circulatory. Uh, where their blood, okay, the mother and the fetus do not mix. They are separated by thin membrane. Okay, this is very important because number one, it serves to protect the fetus from certain dangerous chemical substances, toxins or bacteria that can be absorbed into the blood, uh, into the fetal blood circulation. Also to prevent the thin bl fetal blood vessels from bursting due to the high uh, blood pressure of the mother. Okay, also another one is to prevent agglutination or blood clots from happening in the fetus because fetus and also mother might not have the same blood group. Okay, so the thin membrane layer is not able to prevent certain substances from being absorbed, such as drugs, Medication, cigarette smoke, and also alcohol ingested by the mother. Okay, not able to prevent. So it's very important for the mother to uh, to have these healthy habits when they are pregnant. Okay, to make sure that they are not taking any drugs or alcohols, or even they they refrain from smoking, uh, because this thin membrane is unable to prevent all these harmful substances to reach the fetus. Okay, also viruses such as HIV and rubella may even cross the placenta and hence be absorbed into the fetal blood circulation. Uh, this is going to greatly harm uh, the fetal development.